like a lot of this wall. So this is part of the middle pyramid complex at, at Giza. And there's a lot of blocks like this. There are limestone blocks that are 11, 12 meters long, like four meters wide, you know, two, 300 tons that were stacked up on top of each other. And they eroded so greatly on the inside that, that they've actually fallen over at some point in antiquity. They've fallen off. And so they are trying to buttress and support things that are going to fall. I'm all for that. But, it, I mean, there's a lot, like just the amount of erosion that it takes for that to happen to blocks like this, of this um, pneumolytic limestone, which is a very hard form of limestone, full of fossils. And it's, it's you're talking like two, three feet in some places of erosion of limestone. And if you look at the studies that have been done into like limestone erosion rates, and there's been several, they've studied them in coastal wave action environments where it's like getting battered by waves, they're put in rivers. You know, they put limestone cubes on the top of one of the governmental buildings in D.C. And, and left it there and studied it over decades. And they're like, OK, it's tiny amounts. But in a normal weathering environment, right, this is assuming a lot more rainfall than what happens in Egypt, uh, which gets very little rainfall, by the way. But a place like 